In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, the Apostle Paul gives us powerful insight. And he wrote to the Ephesian church saying, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. The Apostle Paul is teaching the Ephesian church about how uh, we receive salvation by grace through faith. And what he is talking about is the fact that we are called into fruitfulness. In other words, our deliverance has a purpose. The Lord Jesus has rescued us from sin, from a life of iniquity, uh, from, from being lost in, our, in the pursuit of our own passions. And He rescued us into what the Bible says, the, the kingdom of the Son of His love. And that rescue, that salvation, that change, a transportation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the Son of His love is not for nothing. The, the, the Apostle Paul states that we were prepared and created in Christ for the good works which He has prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So today, as we meditate and consider this thought that we are called into fruitfulness, what are we supposed to practice and what are we supposed to learn? It's that fruitfulness is not just a passion, rather it's our mission, it's a calling. I remember when Jesus invites his disciples to follow him and his invitation in Mark chapter 1 verse 17, it speaks about a mission. He says, come after me, come follow me and, and you will be made fishers of men because our calling is not just into salvation where we can enjoy the presence of God, but rather it's a call into fruitfulness. And we're going to discuss it in the next few days how the changing of our nature has everything to do with that. You know, next week we're going to talk about having the mind of Christ and, and Christ in us. But we must understand that fruitfulness is not for a select few. Fruitfulness is meant for all of those who call themselves disciples of Jesus Christ because He has called us. It's a mission. And just like before He was uh, taken up to heaven, uh, in the book of Acts, in the first chapter, he tells his disciples, uh, giving them the great commission, and he tells them, Go, therefore, to all the earth, making disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them all of the things I have taught you. And if we understand that the calling of the Lord is not just for our benefit, but rather it's a call to transform us from the inside out so that we can be positioned to bear fruit. And, and there's a powerful passage in Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 through 12. In this passage, I think it speaks volume to this understanding. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom, in spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy, walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to His glorious power for all patience and long-suffering with joy." giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers in the inheritance of the saints in the light. This is so powerful because the Apostle Paul is, is, is teaching us that we should be, he's praying for the Colossian church that they may be filled with the knowledge of the will of God and all wisdom and all spiritual understanding. These are the three things we must pursue in our spirituality as we walk uh, closer and closer with Jesus. We should seek to know His will, 
to receive wisdom and spiritual understanding that we ought to live in this way worthy of the uh, of the uh, of the lord fully pleasing him being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of god strengthened in all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering which is patient, which is um, perseverance with joy you know with this i see that the fruitfulness of the disciple of jesus walking in every good work is is much more than something we do because we have a passion for it it's something we do because our nature has been shifted it has been transformed into a fruit producing nature and if you believe that and if you understand that fruitfulness is part of our calling now it's part of our identity when we are in Christ you will live always aware of what God wants to do not only in you or for you but also what he wants to do through you because we say oftentimes that the gospel is all about grace yes it's great grace for forgiveness but that grace must be expressed through the good works that we in turn live by and in the name of God is glorified because of the fruitfulness that we live in in the next few days we're going to talk a little bit about the 15th chapter of the gospel of St John and I hope this will bring more clarity to you but in this day reflect upon that fruitfulness is your mission so live worthy of the Lord of the calling of the Lord upon your life and understand that you were born for fruitfulness in Jesus name